What's up guys? It's Anneli Mailey here, um, your host of Under the Surface and I am filming this solo episode on the beach in Perth with my dog. We're just chilling here, having a good time. Um, I'm hoping it's not too windy and the audio kind of works out, the waves are crashing in the background, but I thought it was a nice kind of change up uh, so I could answer some of your questions from Perth. <laughs> so I did a post not too long ago where I put up a story asking you guys to send stuff in and I got so many questions, such great ones that I've decided to do bonus episodes where I answer questions. So please send them in and I'm going to try and apply them to not just like me at my stage in my life and my career and all this stuff because there was lots of like what do you do when but maybe apply them to different situations too. So the first question was by Court Legacy AU and it was about comparison in life and sport and how do I handle that? It's a really good question because part of what makes me and athletes so competitive is we constantly are comparing ourselves to the people in front of us and the people that are quote unquote maybe one step ahead of us in our career and it adds a layer of like competition in our own lives so it, it is a positive thing but I think it can be a super negative thing at the same time so dealing with comparison is accepting that there's a healthy component to it but I think changing your mindset around what comparison means is the most important thing when it comes to this question. So yes, I do compare myself to the other athletes around me. And I think the moment where it became healthy for me is when I shifted this idea of my role models being something that I needed to be. And what I mean when I say this is that I no longer look at my role models and these people and think, wow, they're so amazing, I want to be like them. Because when I was saying that to myself over and over, it started becoming, I needed to be like them because I wasn't good enough in my me. And that's something that I didn't even realize that I was saying to myself at a young age, like, wow, this person's so good, I wanna be like them. But there's nothing more amazing than being like you, like being like yourself. My mindset shifted in that when I was probably about like 22 is when I first was like, wait a second, I'm spending all this time being like, oh, I wanna be like so-and-so instead of being like, I want to be like me. But I think that that's such an important change, like seeing the beauty in the role models, but not taking away from what it is that makes you, you. And that's my takeaway from that. That's the healthy comparison. And an example of that would be in basketball or in athletics or whatever, if there's a component of someone that you really admire, instead of being like, I wanna be like them, it's been like, wow, that's something that they do that is really amazing. How can I take that and add it to me, my arsenal, my skill set, my best version of myself? And that's when comparison is healthy, because you can acknowledge that they have something amazing and you can admire them for that attribute of theirs without taking away from your sense of self. And I think that that's really important. And then on top of that, I think that as females, and if you have a daughter, a sister, a friend that does this, when you have a role model, sometimes physically you compare yourself to them. Um, I know I've done that and I still find myself doing it. And I think it's important to recognize that when you compare yourself to someone else, physically you can never be that person and they're amazing and they probably compare themselves to so many other people but it's really important as young girls and as women that when we compare we don't compare ourselves physically because society does that enough for us and I think that if you want to be stronger and faster and fitter I think those are the goals instead of physically wanting to change your size. I think that's really important and that's a message that I would really like 
people to take away from this. Um, it was actually, I'm pretty sure, a dad that wrote in this question as well about his daughter comparing herself to other teammates. And to that I say, really hone in the fact that she, that she herself is amazing and that the kid themselves is amazing and that they can take skills and attributes that their friends and teammates might have and add them to their, their me. That's my, that's my thing. Now, in professional life, this is a little bit different because podcasting and what I'm doing now is, a. I know it sounds weird, but it's kind of outside of my comfort zone because I'm like, what if people don't care about what I have to say? And I might listen to another podcast or listen to someone else speaking about something or someone else doing commentating and think, oh my God, I really want to be like them. And then I compare my, you know, my on camera person and the way that I speak to them. Now, again, there's a healthy level of this to be able to get better at what I do, right? But then at some point I have to stop and be like, but there's no one else like me and I don't want to take away from my me. So I think that that healthy level of comparison is what I'm really trying to kind of drive home here. Yes, we compare ourselves as athletes, but at some point, you have to compare yourself to yourself or compare your attributes to their attributes and take some of what they have and add it to your sense of self instead of putting these people on pedestals like you're never able to achieve that. So yeah, that's how I'm answering that question on comparison. This is just a short little grab. Maybe some episodes I'll be able to talk longer about things, but that's all I got on this one. I think that it's really healthy to see great attributes in other people and really respect and appreciate great attributes in other people. And also, if you're comparing yourself to someone else because of something amazing that they're doing, tell them. Tell them. Like, I tell some of my teammates all the time, like, okay, for example, Steph Gorman, she is an incredible defender and I was comparing myself defensively to her and I just told her, I was like, you do that so well. And I want to add that to my game. I really do. So I told her that. And by ver verbalizing that I really like that she does that thing, it also, you know, you've got to let other people around you know that you think that they're doing something amazing. And then also she now knows that I want to add that to my game. So then I can ask her questions about it. So I think that that's actually really important too. Like tell the people about the things that you like about them that you want to add to your own set of skills. Yeah, that's what I got. So to end this episode, that's how we're going to end it. <laughs> um, that was uh, my first solo episode. That was my rapid fire Q&A with Annalee, Pumped by Reebok, Under the Surface, this new version that we're doing wherever we are. I'm down by the beach right now. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it. This is literally my view. Look at this. But look at this. Is this not insane? And then you have the moon. Loki, what do you think? Like, this is just absolutely insane to me that this is my life. You won't even be able to see. This is me. That was Under the Surface. I'm your host, Annalie Maley. That was Pumped by Reebok. And that was a solo episode filmed on the beach in Perth. <laughs>